What happened? Huh? You're not gonna make it? I don't know what to do. How was that? Would I buy this boat? Just spotted uh, the boat from below deck Mediterranean in front of us. I like sailing. I always tell people, you're awesome. And you know you are. You can achieve anything you put your mind to. Well, I am gonna put my mind to buying my next boat. Testing out a lot of them and I'm gonna show you a lot on this channel. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Let me show you. And? Hello. How was your meeting? I thought that I'm gonna throw up there. <laughs> really? Seriously. I was trying to figure it out. Should I sit like this or should I sit like this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, Olivia, it's like five minutes more. I'm gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yeah, but for somebody that don't sail, to go down and to work in the 4V berth while we're sailing is probably not the best thing to do. I think it's good that we took the boat out and we're gonna be here for the whole day, whole night, then I can probably say something more. Would I buy this boat right away, jump at it? Probably at this point, no. And it might change my mind. Ooh, that's nice. I don't think the speedometer works. So we have about 11 knots of wind and I think we're probably doing about four and a half knots. Four and a half, five maybe. Okay, but you can go both sides. One side is difficult and one side's not difficult. Oh, don't leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. So what happened? Let's, this is a good lesson. Okay, let me bring you up to speed. See this girl here? Her name's Olivia and she has zero sailing experience. Today is her first time on a sailboat. Well, my friend, I am on a mission to make her fall in love with sailing. Huh? You're not gonna make it? Also make her fall in love more with me and then buy the next boat. We're moving again. And try to convince her to move on to a sailboat with me. Wow. Gonna hit him. This is gonna be one hell of a ride. Okay. So she was winching, okay, and the line is too thick for this self tailing. It doesn't really want to go in there nicely. So as she was winching it, and she didn't know to check, which she doesn't really have to, it came loose and the whole sail just went forward. So in a big wind, that's really really dangerous. So the way you wrap the winch. Always clockwise. Two, three. Now look here, it's supposed to go in there easy, but it doesn't want to, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to kind of. Okay. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. There it's in now. Now it's in nice and thick. Okay. Okay. See, so your winch goes one side two times and a bit slower, but easier. The way to winch is you sit in front of your winch here, like this, towards your winch, mm -hmm. you look at your sail, like that. So you have those two blue things, little ribbons, they call telltales. You want them to fly vertical like that, 90 mm -hmm. degrees. Okay? Right now it's not flying 90 degrees. We'll let it out a little bit. Almost. If we had a stronger wind it would be perfect. It'll yeah. show you nicely. Okay, so that's nice. So now Put it back into the teeth, and then you take another safety wrap around it. Mm -hmm. You leave it. Right, so I just spotted uh, the boat from below deck Mediterranean in front of us. I'm gonna see if they're on 16 and see if we can say hello. So below deck, motor vessel home, motor vessel home. This is sailing vessel O Susanna over. Motor vessel home. I think that's the Mediterranean below deck them. So they all have red clothes on, they're all scurrying there on deck. 
I don't see any camera crew though. Motor vessel home, sailing vessel Ozusana, over. They are on 16. It's crystal clear blue. We knew the weather was going to show up. I did. Are you coping? Happy the sun is out. Okay. But it's really rough. Really rough? Yeah. Well, so what I can say is that uh, we knew the weather was going to be like this and that's why I wanted to bring the boat out. Right now I'm just motoring into it. I don't want to sail into it. I just want to feel what she does when I'm motoring into the wind. Plus I must say she's quite heavy. She doesn't get bounced around by the waves. All right, we've come to this bay called Paradise Bay. Trying to hide from the wind and the weather a little bit. Going down. Yeah. See if we can get a little bit more comfort here. There's big swell out there, big, big swell. She's a little bit sick, she's not feeling very good, but her duty is her duty. Can you see it? We're gonna do four boat lengths because there's gonna be a lot of wind tonight. 35 knots. I'll tell you when. That's good. That's good. <laughs> You feeling a little bit sick? <laughs> wow, this is so roly. Woo! So uncomfortable. Huh? You're not gonna make it? I think after this next move, if there's no more moves left, then I'm going to a marina or I'm just starfishing myself. But the problem is, I really don't want to put Olivia through that for her first night. Die, <laughs> I would die. You don't like it? No. It's a bit rough, eh? Yeah. What we're gonna do now, that's Gozo. That's the island of Gozo. We're gonna sail in between Gozo and Camino. And there's a place called Santa Maria. I'm gonna go see if that's not better. Seems like we're not the only smart people. There are three other sailboats and a super yacht in Santa Maria. So I guess everybody was trying and trying and then found the spot. I thought I was the only smart one. Seems not. But when it comes to her, I'll, I'll say that I'm the only smart one. Okay, babe, I'll take all the credit. What's our depth? Our depth is 19 meters. So we're good. I know it gets really shallow here. This is uh, one of the oldest, well, the only hotel in, uh, in uh, Camino, and it's actually not operating right now. If I can just get this zoom right. Come on first, mate. I need you on the anchor. There's a boat there to our starboard side, one in front of us and then to port. So I think what we'll do is we'll fall back a little bit back to starboard and then uh, try and lie kind of here. And I don't know what the depth is guys. I don't want to film while I'm uh, looking at the depth and doing this maneuver. So I'll speak to you in a second. Success, success. <laughs> the wind is howling out there. We were in this calm little bay after the first, second, third, fourth attempt. Sometimes the wind and obviously the swell just does not come from the same direction. But now we're in a little spot where we're protected from the wind and the swell direction. Yes, man. <laughs> Seems that we're gonna sleep on the boat. Is it your first night on a boat? First night on a sailboat. Ugh. What's your first night in the sailboat? Oh. It's okay. Why did you wake me up when it started raining? Babe, it's raining! <laughs> Somebody just had her first uh, skinny dip in her life. How was that? Free! <laughs> oh man, this is just some other type of life. This is amazing. You want to tell? 
So, we were just saying, tell them what we said about the, um, the boat. We're speaking to you guys as we're making decisions and deciding if we like the boat or not. What did we say if we compare it to... We compared it to, uh, to a car that it's in between a small car and a big car. It's almost like an Audi Q3 or uh, we it's said like, like a... You want to have a SUV, a but... What? Um, SUV. <laughs> Sorry. SUV. <laughs> <It's in Polish. laughs> we yeah. say it like this in Polish. Okay. Um, so you want to have SUV, but SUV is big. But you don't want to have a small car. So you buy you buy uh, something in the middle, like Audi. Yes. Yeah. So I think it feels very compact, but it feels like it has everything. It's good quality. The only thing that bugs me is the length. I mean, when I'm standing here and I see the bow, I feel like it's just two feet too short. The bedroom is really like narrow. Small. Well, welcome to a sailboat. Maybe I'll start to like it. Once again, for those of you that's followed me, I once lived on a pink boat that was 29 feet long. So, I mean, if I can do that, I can do this. All right, we're beating into the wind. It's impossible to sail right now to where we want to go so uh, unfortunately we have a little bit of a time constraint so we're not going to beat into the wind and tack all the way back home we're going to just do the motor so another thing that i've learned over time is that there's an angle to the wind or to the swell that will be more comfortable so what i mean with this is currently the wind is coming from the south and so is the swell we want to actually go exactly where it's coming from as it is sometimes with a sailboat but I fell off just about 10 degrees fell off the wind and fell off the swell it's not enough to get out the head sail but it's way more comfortable I'm getting more speed it's not a slamming motion anymore so sometimes just kind of figure out where the boat sits the best it does also depend what type of boat you have what keel you have and how heavy she is but uh, right now we're doing good Right, so we have another Bavaria 42 that's going to approach us now and a friend of mine who called me on the radio has got his cell phone cable, so we're going to do a little drop off right now. Wow, you're going to hit him. Hello. Alright. Cheers. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous maneuver, but luckily we both know how to do it. Next week on the Paperboat Project, we do a full walkthrough and review of this Bavaria 37-foot sailboat. I have the head sail and the main out. I think then it becomes unmanageable. No. Yes, come on, show. No. Really nice and neat. Which makes it look much bigger. Help us make the ultimate decision. Are we buying it, taking it, or are we leaving it behind? See you next time, right nice here. Nice model that comes with some of the Bavarias. She doesn't speak German.